And at Loxton Ag Tech Field Days, we have many and a lot of equipment here. Do you want to take us through some of it and how it all works? Sure. Uh, thanks for having me. Um, I'm obviously um, representing Centec, um, South Australian-based company, um, Adelaide, established in Adelaide, actually in Riverland in Loxton. Uh, we have tens of thousands of these probes around this area, uh, in Riverland especially. Um, we're selling to more than 80 countries in the world at the moment. Um, it's not just the soil moisture, um, it's a moisture salinity as well as the temperature in a different levels, uh, calculating anywhere between 10 centimeters to 40 meters. So depending on what type of uh, um, crops or what type of industry we're working with, it goes from mining to environmental to ag and hort and, and so on. Um, we also do have a weather station, automatic weather station, that probes can um, connect to that ones as well. Uh, the back to the conversation earlier that we had in the uh, in the sessions uh, in terms of API and on ownership of the data. Ownership of data is definitely by the, the owner of, of the probe, so that's uh, that's private and personal, and they can decide so which um, integrator or irrigation controller they want to go to if they are working with one. Uh, the API is also open and uh, we are working with a number of different irrigation controllers, let's say Swan, let's say Mate, uh, Galcon, as well as some other ones. So there's the capacity and potential you know, to, to work with um, in terms of uh, our uh, product. Uh, they come in a number of different shapes and forms, depending on the top of the crops that uh, the, the producers uh, are planning to utilize the probes in them. We um, also have uh, the, our own telemetry, like a Centec telemetry, that's a unit that um, uh, sends all of the information to the clouds, and then uh, all of the information can be accessed to, uh, via the Eremax, which is the software um, that is available to uh, the owners of the prop or, or, the, or the consultants that are working with us. Um, no, I was just going to say, so it looks like the system is quite scalable to whatever it is, um, the, whatever application we want to put it into. Oh, absolutely, yes. So in terms of scalability, so the reason that you now we come up with the Bluetooth probes, which is a drill and drop, five minutes installation, easy, and then within a minute, you know, you can take it out as soon as you put it in the, in the soil without uh, undisturbed. Um, it The data is valid and well, Pretty much, you know, it can be used, but you know, normally give it a week or, week or two you know, to be able to interpret that data that is coming out from the probe. Um, it doesn't need a telemetry unit, by the way, uh, uh, so it's, it's a telemetry on its own. Well, it is sending information through to the mobile phone that you use, and then the, you can use the mobile phone as the telemetry unit, send it up to the cloud whenever you want, and normally holds about 2,100 readings. So it depends how often you know you want it. So it can be varied. So it can it can hold a lot of information in there. But it depends when you go there you know, to to grab the information from the probes. But anyway, too much details <laughs> for now. For now, um, yeah. So in terms of um, this session, um, the API is open for the integrators, and um, we are open to work with any any irrigation controllers. We also do um, NDVI as well as the weekly forecast one week in advance forecast in terms of prediction, in terms of irrigations, what needs to be done. Um, the icing, I suppose, on top of the, the whole thing is the quality of the data that's coming out of the probes. And it is South Australian and Adelaide-based company, and we are proud of what we produce. I think you've explained it very well. Mehdi, thank you very much. Well, thank you for having us.